Hey guys, up next, construction number three of our review is bisecting an angle and we're going to take our compass and with it open to a convenient amount that will intersect both sides of our given angle A, we construct this arc. Now, normally when we measure the fatness, we measure the distance between these two points of intersection. We just need to make sure our compass is open more than half of that distance and we're going to rotate out into the interior of the angle and we're going to make an X basically and it's going to be an arc from this point of intersection and the same arc from this point of intersection without changing the compass setting. And where those intersect, I will put a dot and I will connect that dot to the vertex at A with the ray starting at A and going through that point. That, my friends, is the bisector of the angle. The justification for this, just like the previous example, is side, 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 and CPCTC. To show that this is actually an angle bisector, we would have to show that these two angles are equal to each other. And so I will construct quickly uh, the segment connecting that point of intersection to that arc, and same to the other piece. Look at that. Okay. Now we have two triangles here. This is definitely reflexive. It's shared by both triangles. Uh, this segment and this segment are radii of that first circle that we started to draw with that first arc. And secondly, these are radii of congruent circles that we drew when we measured from this point out to here and this point out to here. We didn't change our compass, so those have to be equal. The triangles are equal by side, side, side. Therefore, by CPCTC, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. These two angles have to be equal. Therefore, this is the angle bisector. So CPCTC and uh, side, side, side are the two reasons that make this construction possible. Thanks for watching.